Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're doing well. So, in the last video, I talked to you guys a little bit about CPR and basic life support in case of cardiac arrest and stuff. Today, I'll be talking to you about traumatic life support, which is called ATLS or Advanced Traumatic Life Support. Like in case of road traffic accidents, what you should do uh, for the victim. So, I just came out of duty from the <laughs> pillbox hill medical center and I don't look like uh, I'm dressed like a doctor or something <laughs> okay you don't get a medics outfit here in GTA 5 most probably so okay so we need to perform some demonstration of a road traffic accident let's take this car it's, it looks pretty weird sorry bro you gotta watch out yeah, you should watch out man. The car is coming towards you, you should run away. Okay, you got up, you may go. So, uh, in last time, last video, I told you like in case of cardiac arrest or cardiac life support, you are to uh, shift the person from the middle of the road or where he's lying to a safe place. Okay, the ambulance is coming from somewhere else while the person is lying just below uh, hospital. Some people from the hospital can come and help him, but no, ambulance is coming from far away. Let's see what they do. They will probably stand there and take notes or something. Let me, let's not waste time. So, in case of road traffic accident, you saw he got uh, like uh, collided with a car. The car came and uh, collided with him at a very high velocity, right? So, most probably he has some fractured bones. He might have some. Oh, the police are again. So, what you should do, in case of cardiac life support, you are shifting the person to a safer place from the middle of the road or wherever he was lying. But in case of uh, trauma or road traffic accident, you should avoid doing that, you should not doing that. Because what happens in uh, like uh, trauma or road traffic accident is that the person's cervical spine, that is the spinal cord in the neck region, in this region, the spinal cord here, has most probably been injured due to the, such a high impact collision. So what happens if you move a person whose spinal cord is already injured or vertebral column is fractured if the spinal cord, cord is injured damaged further what will happen is the person will turn quadriplegic from that moment onwards that is what quadriplegia means that all four of his limbs will be paralyzed for the rest of his life so even if he survives his quality of life would be very poor so you should take care not to uh, like manipulate the cervical spine much or move it so what you should do you should have whenever uh, manipulating a person or like you have to do something at least before the ambulance arrives so okay call the ambulance call your helpline number call for help now what you should do you should check for yes, airway right like in case demonios. of shut up I'm trying to talk here so uh, what i was saying you should remember the mnemonic a b c d okay at least a b c you should remember like d e all, all of that stuff let the doctors uh, be aware of that a is for airway okay so in road traffic accident what will happen is that when the person will fall unconscious or maybe some injury to his neck or any place there will be secretions filling up his mouth secretions filling up his mouth and trachea and airways so what will happen is that he will stop breathing he won't be able to breathe due to the secretions so that mostly uh, in many of the cases that causes death in those people due to hypoxia because breathing is important right so first thing is airway clearance before that you have to stabilize the cervical spine so whatever you do you have to keep the cervical spine in a stable position how you can do that you can do that with certain maneuvers whose pictures i am going to show you here you can hold his neck like this okay if you hold his head like this one person holds him like this the other person comes and does whatever other things other first aid stuff you have to do so whatever you do you do not move the neck in any way so first you uh, stabilize the cervical spine if the person is wearing helmet you have to open the helmet while keeping the neck stable so open the helmet while uh, like pulling it wide apart so that it doesn't uh, catch the no nose like when you pull the helmet from here to this side it might get caught up here and his nose might break so pull it sideways both side and then open it before opening the helmet if he's wearing glasses open his glasses now what you will do after you have stabilized the cervical spine you have to check for airway so uh, i told you about chin lift and jaw thrust you can use that to open up his mouth and like use a cloth or a handkerchief and then 
remove the secretions inside his mouth with that cloth you have generally it is done with uh, tubes and suction in the hospital but here you don't have anything like that so if there is like blood inside his mouth just put a handkerchief inside clean it off okay and open up his airway that opens up his airway and lets him breathe so check if he's breathing or not okay uh, now what you can do you need to check for circulation like if his uh, heart has stopped beating you can then do cpr like i told you in the last video you can check that video out so what else can happen in a road traffic accident most commonly what happens is a fracture right fracture can happen in his leg in his arms anywhere so in case of fracture you just what you need to do you don't have like cast and stuff lying uh, carrying with you so you uh, just try to immobilize that limb tie a cloth tie something try to splint it like you hang it from in, from his neck so that it doesn't move that much okay if the person is conscious well and good still uh, make sure he doesn't move his cervical spine then let him uh, splint the part that is fractured okay sometimes what may happen there may be a fracture in one of the ribs or there may be a uh, opening on the chest made by perforation or penetrating injury okay some uh, splinters or any uh, sharp objects may have entered and the wound may have opened and air would be gushing inside from outside into the uh, chest cavity this will cause tension pneumothorax and other stuff which will uh, won't allow him to breathe so what you do you can just put a cloth or a plastic or something and cover up that wound don't do anything much the doctors will take care of it so that like air does not enter that much okay the next thing that happens is that bleeding so there might be open wounds in any part of the body due to the injury and there may be profuse bleeding from that part so if the person loses a lot of blood he will go into shock and irreversible shock is um, in many cases fatal so what you do in that case is you have to apply pressure on the wound so apply a lot of pressure with the palm or the like heel of your hand and push hard with both your hands with your hand straight and apply pressure you can buy a tourniquet like if here the bleed the bleeding is here you have to buy a tourniquet upwards if the bleeding bleeding is in the distal parts of the limb here or here you uh, uh, tie a tourniquet here tourniquet is like you can use cloth you can use any tight material that you have tourniquet you tie a tight knot at this part even you can tie a second tourniquet uh, more upwards than the first tourniquet so this might help stop the bleeding tourniquet tie the tourniquet as tight as possible okay you might like uh, feel hesitant that if i tie the tourniquet so tight blood supply will stop his limb might get necrosed and gangrenous and his he might lose his limb losing a limb is better than losing his life you know so by tie the tourniquet as tight as possible even if it gets necrosed even if it gets gangrenous you should stop bleeding he might bleed to death okay he will live without a limb but he won't he can't be able to live without blood so stop bleeding uh, you can stop the bleeding like that there can be other injuries also like stuff may have gone inside his eye so just put a cloth or a wet cloth over his eyes to relieve the pain and stuff you cannot do much about first aid much first aid about that and what else uh, there can be a like open wound on the abdomen so in generally if there is a large perforating injury or penetrating injury on the abdomen the intestines might come out okay so don't try to manipulate that and like put the intestines back inside that will cause a lot of infections and stuff you can just cover it up with a wet cloth or plastic so that it doesn't get exposed to the air and wet cloth will keep it uh, at least wet at least if it gets dry that will be dangerous for him so after you uh, do that wait for the ambulance to come the ambulance guys will bring a hard board or a stretcher or something a hard board is important because you need to keep the cervical spine stable while you take him so when the person brings the hard board or the stretcher they will probably bring a cervical collar okay which is called a philadelphia collar so you have to put that collar generally the medics know the proper procedure i'll show you a picture of how the collar looks like you have to put that collar while another person holds the next table with the maneuver that i told previously so after putting that collar his cervical spine is now stable now you can transfer him to the stretcher and then carry him to the hospital in an ambulance so but there is a maneuver you should know 
uh, when putting the person on the stretcher that is called a log rolling maneuver so you need three to four persons to do that okay the medics will be there most probably and they will need uh, maybe they will need one or two persons to help them so you do the log rolling maneuver to make sure that his spine is not bent or manipulated at any portion because even if cervical spine is okay there is a lumbar spine you know lumbar spine is in this region the back portion of this region if the lumbar spine is damaged his arms will be okay but his legs will be paralyzed so you don't want, want that also so when you log roll the person over you look at the back for any injuries if it's there and then you put the uh, stretcher uh, beneath him and then roll him over on the stretcher and then carry him away so that is most uh, mostly what you can do like first aid in case of trauma that's all for today thanks for watching make sure to like comment share and subscribe for more such videos stay healthy stay safe